What's up everybody, Nabori here. Today I'm going over my Murdoch guide, the guide to 1800 damage crits. Better call 1-800 Murdoch because we're going in, son. We're going to start with Micronuke. This is going to give you a 4% crit chance and 15.4 energy damage. Since we didn't have a jungler, I took up the opportunity to take over red so I can plow through lane quicker. Also, before I go lane, this is usually what I do because everybody that kills this target is going to get 600 CXP and it's going to give you a big boost towards your first card upgrade. Now, I have to go back to base to heal up and a lot of you are going to say, man, why don't you have health potions or mana potions? Well, part of the reason is that I have a mural in my lane and she can actually heal me quite a bit. Also, that's not really my play style, and if it is, you know, you there is room to put health potions and mana potions in this build. But I like to have the most damage as soon as possible that I can. As you can see here, I'm already doing 80 damage to these minions and popping them off really quick. You can see here, Steel's going to have an issue coming at me because he's worried about my damage. Also, I have a Muriel here to help me out, and as you can see, I'm not really taking any damage from the Steel anyway. As I pop off some shots here, Muriel goes in to get the kill and make sure he doesn't go away, and we get some easy points. I make sure that she gets that extra red so we can go through this lane a little bit quicker. Now since we picked Micro Nuke, we have 15.2 extra damage and that's a lot more damage than most cards in the beginning. The 15.2 is usually the end result of finishing a card. I had a feeling that someone was getting to gank us. Sure enough, I turn around and there's Grux coming from the jungle. With Grux, the closer you are to his ability that pulls you in, move over to the left and it'll give you a higher chance that you won't get hit by it. As you can see here, my damage that I picked in the beginning on Mini Nuke helped out a ton and I assure you that that Grux had a health and mana potion. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Now that we've taken that tower down and we have six points to spend, let's go back to base and upgrade our Micro Nuke. We're gonna do this with Major Cast. This will give us 60.6 .6 damage. Now let's take these upgrades to battle and see what we can do here. As you can see here, I do a crit for 221 damage. That is insane. The steel tries to push up. I hit him for 197 damage. That is a huge bonus just from two upgrades. Now at this point, I wouldn't rely too much on you getting crit. It is a good bonus to get a crit, but you only have a 4% chance because of the micro nuke. But your basic attacks are still hitting for 111 damage. Now let's go over one of the first skills that you should get. You should either get your mines or your shield skill. The mines you'll be able to cut off entry points so you don't get ganked as easily. Or another option is your shield skill. You can actually push back targets if they get too close with this ability. I recommend that you get shield at least by level 6 because you can actually push people out of their ultimates and it interrupts them. Now let's go back to our current situation. We got Mr. Mayo here trying to hit me. I'm hitting him for 99 damage. He's taking tons of damage. Unfortunately, Mural eats his ultimate and she goes down. But I get a chance to avenge her. I kill Fang Mayo. We got a Gideon coming after me here. I fortunately hit him for 209 damage. Oh my goodness. He gets scared about that and tries to retreat. But I'm coming right after that booty and I get a double kill. Seeing all the CXP in the ground makes me feeling like Scrooge McDuck. I'm going to burn. As soon as you can, upgrade your basic attack because that's the primary function of this build. And we're going to finish upgrading our micro nuke. We're going to do it with major cast. This will leave you with 90.9 .9 damage. For our next card, we're going to get Staff of the Adamant. It's 7.6 damage plus 100 health. Let's not forget about Murdoch's ultimate. This will not be the primary focus of damage, but yet it is an awesome skill to hit targets through walls or if they're running away from you. I guess here where the steel's at and I managed to hit him. Since he's shift running, it rooted him in place and I assume that he's going to be in the visible water over here. And guess what? I was right. I managed to get that kill with Muriel. You have a few options to upgrade on the Staff of Adamant. You could either use the upgrade with 2 points or you could use the Major Cast which is 3. At this point I decided to use the Major Cast because I wanted more initial damage before I had the upgrade. Let's see what kind of damage we can put in on this team fight and see what we can pull off. The Steel's being pretty frisky, he pushes me back, I manage to hit him while I'm being pushed back and manage to get the kill. I have to say sorry to my teammates here because if Fang Mayo goes in I have to turn my attention to another target because I'm not sure if it's going to pull up. I try to hit my ultimate on targets and I think I missed. I see Sparrow coming up, 
popping shots off on me, so I'm gonna pop some shots back at you. I managed to burn down really quickly, and my question is, where is Fang Mayo? I have no clue where he went, but ah, I got a mega streak. That's all right. I'm gonna go mind my own business. As I look at my score, I get attacked by Fang Mayo. Ah, oh, geez, he's all hot and bothered. So, well, let's push it back with our shield and skeet shoot him off the air. Now that we got three points, we're gonna put another major cast in our staff at the adamant. Let's go right into another team fight. I'm hitting them for 235 damage or more each crit hit. And this is insane with only two items in my deck right now. I am rocking the world. Unfortunately, I get a little excited here. I don't manage to get out here alive. I kill the Grux, try to go after the Sparrow. Unfortunately, I get sandwiched here and I get attacked by three different people here. I didn't realize that my teammate died and Fang Mayo rocks my world. That was definitely my mistake. But now that we have enough points to upgrade our staff at the Adamant, we're going to upgrade it all the way to max for 90 damage. And we're going to get the Rift Magnus Scepter for extra crit chance. Once you get the chance, upgrade your Rift Staff with Major Wound and two regular wounds. This will grant you 40% crit chance, and let's see how much damage we can inflict on the enemy with this current deck build. As I'm running up mid, I see that Grux is going into the jungle, and I know Steel is going to probably join him because he saw me go in as well. I start hitting Grux, I manage to hit him for 616 damage, I try to hit both of them with my ultimate, I only manage to hit Steel. I get joined in by Muriel and Twin Blast here to my left, I grab one kill and quickly get a second kill here on Steel. We soon are joined by Fang Mayo who thinks he's going to get a kill off of us, which he doesn't manage to do so. He almost gets Twin here, I hit him with one more blast and take him down for a nice triple kill. Shoutouts to Muriel and Twin Blast for the help, because that was amazing. Let's talk about another Murdoch skill, and that's Buckshot. It's going to be a great close-range area effect skill, and I love to start off with it. Reason being, if you start off a fight with this, it's actually going to reduce your target's energy armor and will leave them a little bit more vulnerable, and that will come into play later on when we activate our final card on our Murdoch build. When you get the opportunity, you're going to get a Gordian Scepter. This is going to give you an extra 50% damage on your crits. You're going to load this up with Cast, which each costs only 2 points. Reason being is you're going to get 50% damage boost, and that's what you're searching for as quickly as possible. This will leave you at 250 energy damage, and that's huge. Another thing is you have 2 extra card points here, so you can use those actually on health and mana potions at this point if you deem fit. I see a Sparrow Shift running. I use my ultimate to catch her off guard. I hit her for 7. 170 damage. I chase her down with my teammates and we manage to kill her really quickly. We soon get jumped by Gideon and Fang Mayo over here on the right side. I hit Fang Mayo for over a thousand damage twice in a row. That is insane. I quickly hit Gideon for another thousand and burn him down while he's in his ultimate. Gideon is really easy to deal with when you have high damage. That's because you can kill him before he finishes his ultimate and he's very strong mid and early game but not so much late game. I was about to go back to base, but I noticed Gideon's trying to engage the steel, and Gideon is low health. So I decide to run in there and try to cut steel off. Steel tries to come after me eventually, and tries to use his shield charge. But I manage to go to the left, and miss that completely. The farther steel is, the easier it is to dodge that ability by moving to the side. I push him back with my shield skill, and we manage to burn him down really quickly. As you notice in the mix, I hit him with my buckshot. That will in turn leave him a little bit more vulnerable to my energy damage and my teammates. After that craziness, I'm left with 11 unspent points. That was well worth the stay. We're going to go back and actually get another Staff of the Adamant for our fifth slot. And we're going to place in this a major cast and two regular casts to leave us to 325 energy damage. Now we're really cooking with energy damage. I'm hitting for 1400 damage on a crit. Oh my goodness. I soon get jumped by Grux because he knows we're trying to get Orb Prime. Luckily I have Mirilla here on my right who shields me from Grux's initial attack. I dodge back, hit him with my shield bash, and actually dodge his dash when he comes at me and hit him for a crit for 1200 plus damage. Oh my goodness. Let's get it. While my teammates hand in Orb Prime, I'm over here attacking a Sparrow. When that first kicks in and I get the OP buff, I hit for over 1600 damage. It's about to go down. The last but not least card is going to be Meltdown. This is going to get me 416 base energy damage. Now since I don't have any more damage upgrades that are worth 1 or 2, I'll go with Energy Penetration. We'll start off with 1 Minor Shock. This will leave my targets more susceptible to my energy damage from any of my attacks. With these upgrades, I creep over here and hit Gideon for over 1,700 damage. We're almost at that call 1-800 Murdoch style. 
I see that my teammates are having an issue in the middle, so I go on through and take out Fang Mayo really quick. I got a steal on my right, so I quickly adjust back up a little bit to dodge his shield and actually take him down. I see we've got a Sparrow in the middle. I quickly turn on her and I take her out with a whopping 1800 damage. I grab myself that triple kill and get my 1800 damage crit. Now you notice I still have the OP buff. Without the OP buff, I'll be hitting for around 1600 crit damage, and that is still an amazing number without the OP buff. But with the OP buff, I'm going to go right back in here and upgrade my Meltdown with Shock and one more Minor Shock. With everything fully upgraded, this leaves me with no extra points to spend on anything. This is perfect. As I come through middle and hit Gideon for 1833 damage. Hope everybody enjoyed my Murdoch build and the highest damage that I can make currently with this character. If you guys have any questions or concerns or have ideas on this build, let me know in the description below. I'd love to answer those or have a discussion about it. Also, if you'd like to see me make another build for any other character, let me know and I'll and I'll make a build for that character with my playstyle. If you guys like to see more, be sure to drop a like so I know to make more build videos. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because I'll be coming out with new content consistently as new characters come out and as I make new builds for other characters. Once I unlock more cards, I will be able to make more character builds like versions 2 of this Murdoch and my Sparrow build. So if you guys want to see more, like I said, be sure to subscribe. Happy fragging your Paragon, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!